in the context of the Philippine elections going on today, it's a big stretch to describe what happened yesterday as a genuine election. The, 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 the government and China themselves are calling this democracy with Hong Kong characteristics, and um, that's probably opposite. There were only what's it, 1,460 people were voting yesterday, all of them carefully filtered as uh, patriotic uh, uh, supporters of the, of the government. So um, the outcome, uh, given that context, is hardly uh, surprising. Um, <clears throat> more than anything else, uh, the, those congratulating John Lee and the uh, safe, or safe conduct of the election are relieved to see that two years after the terrible uh, street violence in Hong Kong between uh, uh, June and December 2019, we have calm and uh, relative stability here, uh, and hopefully that will be preserved. That's a very high priority. Now, he's a career policeman uh, serving in the police force for 35 years. What, in your view, is should be his first priority? Um, it, I mean, it's an important point to make. His lifetime has been devoted to security issues, first in the police force and then as security uh, 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 secretary here in, in Hong Kong. Um, uh, he's by and large untested in, uh, and unknown for that matter in any other areas. And so um, he, he's, a, he's a blank sheet of paper for most people in the community. That gives him flexibility, I think, um, but it means that how he's going to manage um, is perhaps more uncertain, th uncertain than any leadership we've had uh, in the past uh, 25 years. Um, and it's going to depend on the team that's assembled around him.